Without music, there is literally no show. Like, it's so, so centered around music. The music in Champion is integral to the characters. It reflects what they're going through. That is how important music is to Champion. So across the show, there are about 35 musical moments altogether, two songs per episode. But in between that, we have musical moments. So we have people who are like composing songs, stealing songs. And so like you hear sometimes different songs like reworked. I think what makes Champion so unique is the absolute talent behind the music. We've got some great artists like Getz, who is my writer in the show. He writes for Bosco Champion. How can you not know about Bosco? From South Unknown in Oslo. I don't like O's in my condo. I gotta swear them down like bottles. And I've loved every minute of that, to be honest. It's been a great experience working with him. He's been like an older brother to me every step of the way. It's a songbook, no? Where did you get that from? Relax. I only borrowed it. So I initially came onto the project because they asked me to make the music, but I also went to drama school, so acting is a big part of my background. I was asked on one of the calls if I had any interest in like auditioning for any of the roles, and I was like, yeah, absolutely. I'm bad, I'm bad. Them girl better than me, they're not. Who's that better than me, they're what? Them girl better than me, they're not. Think they're mad, but I've lost the plot. The base of the series is music because the music is what brings the brother and sister to loggerheads. I was always going to be in your shadow, innit? Well, it's champion versus champion now. So get ready. It's also an integral part of their storylines and their journeys. You know, when Bosco loses Vita as his writer, he's really struggling to find what to say in his music. He struggles to believe in himself. And this is someone who was like quite egotistical really but the same with Vita she struggles to find her voice to actually believe that she has something to say and should should release her own music and should actually sing forget what Mark wants for a sec why don't you sing something that's yours really really your lips your touch is just too much it gives me everything can't get enough, you got me locked, oh boy, I'm losing it. My name is Debbie, I am one of the songwriters for Champion. I was writing for the lead character, Vita. It was quite fun to get into her head because her character is very relatable, to me anyway. You know, she's a young black girl in the UK. So it was just more understanding her tendencies, like how she would react to things, what her energy was like. I've listened to you long enough, Bosco. And I ain't staying in any lane. I'm gonna swerve right into yours. I'd describe Vita's sound as, I wanna say organic, and it's natural in terms of the fact that she doesn't have to try too hard. She's she's almost meant to be like a musical genius. Na, 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 na. Lyric. Why are you dragging me? Thank you. Primary writer of most of um, Vita's songs is Debbie. There's a point where Vita is just like fed up of everything and she just writes a song. The way she embodied exactly how Vita actually would be feeling in that moment is like spectacular. I swear I'm done with it. Mm, yeah, I'm done with it. Talking before they think. Myself and Debbie haven't got the same range or the same tone of voice. So when myself and my singing coach received the songs, we kind of had to kind of like adjust it for my voice. It's like, it's you can actually reach it because it's easy in an easier place. Yeah, yeah. If you were trying to push for that, it'd be harder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can actually go, all right, let me just... Uh. Why, why you, why you? Straight, okay. Why you dragging me to the floor When I'm giving you more and more Always killing me to the core No, I'm better off on my own, oh One of my favourite songs to write was Shades of Blue because I really connected with Vita's character when I was reading, her feeling like she's always out of the spotlight, in her brother's shadow, not seen. Everybody wanna be the loudest in the room, cause it's cool, yeah. Oh. I fade into walls, the shade of blue. The shade of blue. But I know I'm stuck, I'm just lost in the galaxy. Like a moon in the afternoon, can you even see me? Favourite tracks of the show, there's many. I really, really love 
danced in my underwear, even though it's actually not meant to be a good song. It's not meant to be good, like in the show, it's meant to be a really bad song, but it's great. Dancing in my underwear, I just love it, I don't care. I have a song with one of the actors in the show who plays Rusty, and he comes out in my headline show and we perform a song, but it's more of a freestyle we were supposed to have made in the storyline that night. But it's a really, really good number, and um, it was one of my favorite performances to date. Champion to the world, obviously champion to the world. Like it's just banger. Because it's a classic. It is. It's the like, the catalyst song for the show. Champion to the world is just. It's actually just a banger. Like if that came out today, I'd be banging that. Champion to the world. Winners of the 